Candle, uh, candle, candle of the week. week. Yeah, yeah, where's candle of the week? Well, if you're deciding to blame me, uh, I yeah. didn't know you were bringing <laughs> my candle. I thought we were filming at Timmy and Matt's house, so that was my mistake, and Wait, I forgot I their candle. Yes, yeah, you, you said it's Andrew's garage. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but so I, I thought we were going to do one more week. We'll be at Andrew's. No, I said Saturday we'll be at oh. Andrew's. And he left the candle at my house. He left his laptop there the week earlier. I mean, he's, he's just, just an unorganized. Yeah. I mean, it, it, it gets annoying. So sorry we don't have a candle of the week. Apologize kind of, to our viewers. I'm sorry, guys, for this week. Well, it's kind of ironic. I, I remember the candle of the week when it's not even here. So yeah. I, I don't know when that's going to happen again. What do you think of our candle of the week, Will? I was just going to, what would the scent have been this week? Can we get a sneak peek? Uh, something fur. Fur? Fur. Yeah. That you burn fur? Fur? Fur wax. Fur doesn't it's called a tree. Fur. Fur? Yeah. Like fur a, on the tree. F-I-R. Wait, fur. Fur? fur? Oh, okay. No, it's fur. It's F-I-R. some like exotic yeah. smell. It's, it's a high-end Did you get from Wisconsin? Was it, was it Wisconsin? It's, oh, it was it's Wisconsin. It's over my head for our It was our a New York County viewers. candle. But I get on with the Kev's Corner. Uh, actually, I'm going to introduce this real quick. You know, last it's week I did sort of thing. my Matt's Corner, you know, where I gave the heartbreaking Ducks losses. We're rebounding tonight, by the way. Going to beat California. Kick the crap out of them. But anyway, um, I don't know if you guys follow us on Instagram. If you don't, go follow us right now because Manny, who runs that account for time being, um, actually posted an Instagram story that we have a wildcaster hurt, and uh, he's got to go for shoulder therapy. What's wrong with your shoulder? <laughs> it's called frozen shoulder. Frozen shoulder. And how'd you get that? Because you don't use it? I have it? no you clue. <laughs> Probably why. You're not active at all, you know. Uh, oh, poor Kevin, God. Kevin's it not really It started when big. I was throwing with him. I, I will give him that. It, it, I've never seen someone throw a baseball like 15 feet and then complain. And then I, was like, oh! <laughs> I was like, oh, and we had to stop like five minutes later. So anyway, probably Kevin, was the reason. So Ke- anyway, Kevin's a little bit hurt right now. So we thought the perfect Kev's corner would be top five oh, worst yeah. timely injuries um, in sports, and because this is a worst timely injury, I mean, we, you know. Can't get worse than that. Yeah, you can't even perform on the show properly. Frozen he shoulder? Keep guys' candle. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> it's it's so it's my candle yeah. of the week. Okay, so get into the worst timely injuries in the history of sports, which is, in his mind, the last So like, there was a bit, yes, there was a bit of a communication barrier. I did the top uh, injuries when, you know, we were all alive. So, and that was, like, basically 12 years. So I had to start with... Uh, We're significantly older than 12. Right. So <laughs> as our top five list goes, we always start with number five. So number five I have in 27, 2018, Chris Paul going down in game five of the Western Conference Finals. That was huge for the Rockets. Um, I honestly think they would have won the finals had they had Chris Paul in game six and seven. Um, granted, they probably even would have won game seven if they didn't shoot themselves out of the gym. But even then, Chris Paul was a huge loss, and I still think they would have rolled over Cleveland in the finals. So that could have gotten their or um, Mike D'Antoni his final championship or his first championship. So that was huge in 2018. Number four, uh, Andrew was very happy that I had included this, but Derrick Rose. Wait, you dropped probably it. could have had it higher. Wait, you ha- where did where was it initially? Wasn't it three? It was two. <laughs> Chris Paul was number one. <laughs> Derrick Rose was number two. He Go switched on. them. Go on. No. Yes, I, no, I, I had Chris Paul number five. Okay, yeah, well, Chris Derek Paul Rose is number five. two then. Go on, go on. Okay, well, he, I, he's four. Derek Rose, I have number four. 2011 2012 season, the lockout season. They went uh, 15 16 in game one against the Sixers of the, um, or the, not the finals, the um, first series of the playoffs. He goes down. That was a huge loss for them. I think they could have gone to the what finals. Was the uh, he tore his ACL. That yeah, might be helpful. And, oh, sorry. He know. tore his ACL. Oh, and Chris you know, Paul, his whole he timeline. hurt his yeah. hand. <laughs> Just the, his Chris hand. Paul yeah. tore his uh, ACL. Um, I think they would have made it to the finals that year. Um, I, granted, they probably would have played the Heat, but last year they would have avenged their loss in the final year in the finals. So I think they would have won um, in the lockout season. Um, number three, I have Klay Thompson going down. In, I mean, you can make two injuries. He got hurt in game three, but I had it in game six where he went down, where he tore his ACL. What happened in game three? Uh, he was hurt for some reason. Yeah, he, he was out. Pretty sure, oh, just okay. a sprain. Yeah, I think it was his ankle. Okay. And I could make an argument that they would have won that game with him, and the series probably could have been turned around then. But even then, he was balling in game six. He got hurt, and all I remember is Wait. they were at my house. I saw the injury. I'm like, oh my god, Clay is literally gonna shoot this game to a win. And he goes down. He makes the dumbest play ever in going down and jumping onto the floor like an idiot. 
Uh, it was probably his fault that he got injured because of the oh way he fucking God. fell. <laughs> he was going up for a layup. Yeah, and the way he went down, he just he could have gone down like just the way he just went down. So when you go up for a layup, you're not focused on the layup. You're focused on how you land. Is what you're saying. No, he was focused on the layup, obviously, okay. but the way he went down, it could have been different. Um, anyway, so what that means? So <laughs> I was excited. I was so pissed. I was like jumping. I like pretty sure I was hitting like the door of my house. I was so pissed. And Most cardio I'm like this the last season. <laughs> I'm like this series is over. Um, my number my number two is the reason the series was over. But that was a huge reason why it was over. Clay being hurt, I was so pissed, and then I got excited because I saw him coming out of the locker room, and then I'm like, oh, it's just because he has to shoot these fucking free throws. <laughs> so I okay, was let's speed this very up. pissed about that. <laughs> Number two, KD getting hurt in game five. I was so excited during that game. KD had hit three straight threes. I told Timmy and Matt, I'm like, this series is over. You do realize Toronto just lost this series because Kevin Durant just is back. That's false. They would have lost the game, not the series. Continue. No, they went on with the series. Okay. Continue. Uh, so he tore his Achilles, obviously, um, on trying to um, dribble past wherever it was. He tore his Achilles, and I essentially said, yes, this series is basically over after that. Wait, didn't you say it with the clay injury? the clay injury? Yeah. No, and before call. that, KD. But double I mean, the, down. <laughs> this series, the double down with the two injuries. And I can make an argument that if Steph didn't have the flu in game two or three or whatever it was, they would have won that game. <laughs> so Kevin, essentially, you are, you are something with these top injuries fives, are the reason they lost, and Darn. KD was huge. And my number one reason, or my number one injury, is I used to love this guy when he was playing Peyton Manning in 2011. I know I'm going to get a lot of heat for this because he was number one, but the biggest reason I have him number one is because clearly it. Um, I was surprised because the injury was from 2006 when he got sacked by Washington. Yes. And I can't believe it took took them that long, or took him that long for that injury to really hurt him. And in 2011, he was out the whole year. And the biggest reason I have Peyton Manning as on this list because it changed the entire franchise. Their owner pushed him out the back door, saying, "Oh, this guy's never going to be the same. We're not going to pay him this money. Um, we're going to move on." And what did he do? He went to two Super Bowls with Denver. He has the record for most touchdowns in season. It what changed the, the entire Colts franchise. What was the injury? Um, it was pinch in, nerve. Yeah, it was okay. in his neck. It was in his neck too. It so like, neck it was it was like right here on his throwing arm. So like, oh shit! Like he's not able to rotate and, around that. Yeah, I was like so sad, and it turned the season around. They went two and fourteen. They went from the best offense of the league to the worst offense of the league, and well, then, it just changed the entire. Then who who, who did they get? Andrew Luck and, and he got well. list by the Patriots every year in the playoffs. <laughs> okay, he's still by had- a combined score of like ninety to ten. Uh, Will, do you have any reactions to that top five list? Or uh, anyone Jim Irsay, by the way, uh, is a horrible GM. Yeah, that's okay. That's fair. Um, <laughs> one I was thinking about was, uh, are you guys? I know you're a hockey fan. Do you guys follow hockey at all? Yeah. Yes. yes. Um, so in 2014, I think it was the second round um, in the East. It was the Canadians against the Rangers, mm-hmm. and the Canadians were like good that year. Right. Like, no, they were they were looking for. And it. I think that was Gallagher's rookie season too. Yes. And they had that's like or no Galchenyuk's rookie season, and no, I know what Pet, you yeah, 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 and Petretti was doing really good. Gallagher was having a good season that too, I believe. Um, and was Kerry, Subin back on that team, right? yeah, yeah, so that was, it was that yeah, was them. And he was that might have been the year he won the um, uh, Norris Trophy. Yes, and Carey Price goes out with a hip injury, and oh. Dustin Tokarski has to go in, and like you could tell by the name Dustin Tokarski <laughs> that like he's not like an all star guy. He's kind of just like a suitable backup. And I mean, like the Rangers torched them. Like, what? Like they held in as much as they could. But like, yeah. and a Rangers, team being that good can only be, like, a goalie can't help. Like, you can't save. Yeah. It. No one hundred percent. And the Rangers went on. They lost to the Kings yeah. in the finals, right? That year. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good point. Uh, Kev, did you even consider hockey in this list? I don't know. No, he doesn't watch <laughs> hockey. How about well, Christian? Either. How about the Christian Yelich injury on his MVP season? Brewers were looking pretty good that year going into the playoffs. No it's birthday today too. I mean, in base, like I was saying on the text group text. The reason I had so much bas- basketball is because one player can make a huge difference in basketball. In baseball, you have 27 guys on a team. It's not just Chris that's, and that's, Yelich that's hitting 10 home player. runs you a have, game. You have 52 on a football roster, and you have that as your number one. Spot. Yeah. So how, what, where does Peyton that so I just want. I, 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 just want to say, I, was, uh, I don't know how Derrick Rose was on your list. Like that's just was on the list. I mean, or not higher on your list. I mean, he was. That completely changed the whole entire direct trajectory 
of the um Bulls front office It could be a biased team. reason of the Warriors that. Oh, okay. Well, that makes yeah, sense. That's well, why. Kev's corner is always biased. One thing I want to point out with the Christian Yelich one, um, there certainly would have been a different World Series champion because the only reason – people blame Josh Hader for that game, and yes, he walked a couple guys and gave up a hit into right field, but they had Trent Grisham playing right field, mm-hmm. which was Christian Yelich's position, and it was man on oh, first yeah, and yeah. second, and he, he lets the ball go right under his glove, then tries to pick it up, can't pick it up, so both runs come in. Now it's 3-2 Washington. And if you have Christian Yelich in right field, let's be honest, that's not happening. No. They're not even going to score that run. That no, run because he's got a cannon, So too. he's going to mm-hmm. get, yeah. And then Josh Hader, who knows, maybe he does blow it and keeps walking, guys. But I think. But when you're in a league close, you can usually find a way when, to close it out. That's when the Nationals went on to win. And uh, what about Isaiah Thomas in 1988, uh, the NBA Finals Game 6, where he dropped 25 points in the third oh, with yeah. an injured ankle, and then it significantly flared up and he couldn't play game seven. He, he played, but he didn't do it. He didn't play a fraction of what he once was. And they ended up losing to the Lakers. Kevin doesn't even know what I'm talking about. He doesn't even understand what you're saying. Alive. He's like, Isaiah Thomas, wait, the one with Boston Celtics? I mean, no. they, uh, I know who Isaiah Thomas is. Let's be honest. They would have three-peated yes. if that ankle doesn't go down. And then you have to consider him as and one the of the And the Warriors would have three-peated if KD didn't hurt and Clay did not get hurt. Okay, now how about 1988, Larry Bird, where he just derailed Once the, again, the Celtics alive. franchise with a season-ending break, broken foot injury. Celtics were never the same after that. They didn't get I past I the second round. I would have seen that line. in the womb. Um, <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying. I gave I gave Kevin the directions worst timely injuries in sports history, and yeah. I, we tried to keep, limit it to like not career ending or not like gruesome or anything like that or franchise. But it's untimely, but it's yeah. Just untimely. So I get I, I like your Warriors picks. I, like, I think Yelich is very. I like Andrews. Where he brought up Derrick Rose. It, just, that just completely yeah, changed the whole yeah, entire yeah. aspect well, of the I had it in my top five. No, no, it, it, should have been, it should have been one. It should have been that high. should have been okay, two well, or one. It's a bias thing. Well, I know, you, I know. The funny thing was you had it at two, moved it down to four. Peyton Manning was at five, moved him up to one. Peyton like, Manning should not have even been in there. I'm sorry. No. Yeah, it changed the entire it was, No, it didn't because Andrew it, loved it. When he got Angel and everything was fine. Well, no, it wasn't, not un- really. it wasn't untimely, though. It was before the season started. They knew he'd be out. Okay. Point. 